everyone. Hello. Hello. We found some more relaxing tunes to get us hopping right in there. Oh, you know how we like it. You know how we do it. Uh, we're having fun here. I hope you're having fun too. It's Friday. TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Also, thank goodness it's a delicious restaurant chain. I almost called it a fast food chain. It's not fast food. You sit down and eat it, but it's it's a chain. Living in New York, I feel like I forget that chains are regular restaurants elsewhere. That's maybe a really patronizing thing to say. I don't mean it that way, but you know what I'm saying. We don't have that many chains in the same kind of way here. I'm going to fade it to black. We're going to get started. Here we go. See ya. I find that we have a lot of chain restaurants here in uh, in New York City. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we have our share. Yeah, we uh, we got a McDonald's right by our it's office. Fast food. A restaurant. A restaurant. Oh wait, so what are you referring to? I, I didn't catch the like first you part. Sit of what down, you're restaurant. So well, like, like an Applebee's, a Chili's, yes. and Olive Garden. Yeah. Okay, which Sephora we have in Times Uno. Square. Yes, but there's yeah, okay. one on the Upper West Side still, despite the fact that they're all closing down. I worked at an Uno for four years. Really? In Syracuse, yeah. Yeah. There's one in my neighborhood that's uh, pretty close to my apartment, and uh, every time I look at it, it just makes me sad. I feel like they're hit or miss. Uno, well, they're, they're usually missed, but also we live in a city of glorious pizza. Oh, yeah. Yes. They, they, this just feels like a, a sad shambles of what pizza is supposed to be. Uh, I spent thir over $30 last weekend uh, getting three small pieces of Little Caesars pizza. Why? How? What happened? Um, because I saw the commercial for yeah. the, uh, on Raw, they have a commercial all the time for this cheesy pretzel crust uh, Little Caesars. Okay. And it looks amazing. For like three weeks, I've lusted after this thing. Lusted? And, oh, yeah. Like, you can ask, ask my wife. She is, yeah. She's like, I'm you need to just get that thing. I'm not going to ask your wife about your lust, Dan. <laughs> my pizza lust. <laughs> it's brilliant, and I don't know why no one ever thought of this before, but so it's got the pretzel crust. That's been done before. Great idea. Pretzel's great. Pretzel and pizza, great. Uh, but then instead of like tomato sauce... They're, they just do like a nacho cheese sauce. So it's nacho Ugh. cheese sauce, and then they put like three types of cheese on top of that, and isn't then it's a pretzel wait, crust. Isn't, wait, 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 wait. Just, this whoa, should whoa, be whoa, illegal. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Go wait, on. wait, wait. Isn't that just dipping a pretzel into nacho cheese? Which is one of the greatest culinary experiences so a human being could ever pizza? have. Because it's in a pizza shape and it's cut into tri triangles. It's just a pretzel. That's, Those are dessert it's pizzas. It's you got dessert pizzas. That's not a dessert. No, but no, 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 no. What I'm saying is like that the pizza name applies to like, here's a bread item, here's a saucy item, yeah. here's a topping. Yeah, no, it's, it's in pizza not, form. No, I'm not buying that. Okay. No, I disagree. Are you Italian? Uh, I are know, you the authority <laughs> on this, Vinny? I know some very good Italians. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Nacho cheese on a pretzel is not a pizza. I, it also sounds gross. But how did you no, spend thirty dollars? Okay, three so here's a rifle. If you take know. a nacho chip and put nacho sauce on it, would you That's call a that nacho. little triangle a, a pizza? No, but the thing is, the nacho triangle doesn't come in a circle originally, right. and then it's, it's cut. Pizza form. That's no one has difference. ever escaped the nacho and then it's triangle. Baked okay. into the <laughs> you, is a quesadilla a pizza then? No. no. Why not? It's a quesadilla because it's, it's got factor. the top. It's got the top thing. Oh, so if you put but another a Mexican pizza, on top, pizza well. which is basically a quesadilla with no top, is a pizza. It's a Mexican pizza. So once you put a lid on it, no more pizza. Exactly. Then it's a calzone. <laughs> That's folded in half. Uh -huh. She's right. Quesadillas are calzones. I can get on board with that. Oh Here's boy. how I spent $30, uh, yeah, over $30 you, yeah. on three shitty pieces of pizza. Did you make pizza. a bet that this is a pizza and lose? No, okay. I know what a pizza is when I see it, and it was a pizza. Um, I went to, because I've not gotten Little Caesars in the city. And I was like, well, they are the only place that has this delicious Good, pizza. Good, <laughs> for one. <laughs> Sometimes you just want, you know, the, the known quantity. Uh -huh. um, and so I went to like, okay, Little Caesars online ordering. Uh -huh. And I went to the site and I was like, oh, good. They have the pretzel thing. Because sometimes if you order online, they don't have the gimmick things, the new novelty items and stuff. So mm -hmm. they had it. It was great. And they even had one for stuffed crust uh, pizza. And it was like $6 for just the standard one. Because we're talking like Little Caesars here. It's always been very cheap. And then it was like $9 for the stuffed crust one. I was like, I want the stuffed crust. I want it's to a, sho a, shove cheese in every crevice of that yeah. thing. It that is you a can circle get it at that point. It, it is still a circle. Okay. Yes. Um, and so I ordered it and I was like, man, $9. And I went to go check out and I was waiting for like, I put in my credit card stuff and I was waiting for it to say like, oh, it was face for the tip or delivery instructions. Yeah. And it never did. And there was a purchase button. I was like, okay. And I clicked it and then it never asked. And I was like, okay, I guess I'd tip cash. Yeah. And then I realized like five minutes later, like, oh shit, 
uh, that was probably for an in-store order or whatever. And sure enough, they don't deliver. <laughs> Little Caesars doesn't deliver. So they just made my delicious pizza, and it just sat up in Harlem for a while. Yeah, and I don't know what happened to it. And also their phone line didn't work, so I wasn't able to cancel it. So they just cooked it, and I paid for it. And I was like, well, shit. And then I had to check on, like, Seamless or Grubhub or something, and they would pick up a Little Caesars pizza for you. But then, they, so once you add in the delivery charge so you, you and the wrote that and everything. One off. You wrote that pizza off. Yeah, it's like, I can't do anything about this. Yeah, I tried that, calling that's corporate. Dead, that's a dead pizza, too. Uh, it's dead. Yeah, I had no so they way. they never of, called you, never got in No, nope, to they just took my money, made the pizza, and then I don't know what the fuck happened to the pizza. I wonder how it many existed. times that happens. I, I bet somebody would know. All I right. don't know. Right. You should let this be uh, an informative <laughs> experience for you, and you should let this be a lesson that you try to buy garbage pizza in this city, <laughs> well, I know. I hear you the rest get of, what you fucking deserve. I want to hear the rest of this, because I mean, there is, there is a path of like, oh, I took a cab, got the pizza, came home, but that is not what you did. I mean, I would have to go like 30 blocks. Okay. I you would get a $6 or $9 pizza. Well, I think what you would have spent ulti- the same amount of money in the end. Yeah, I well, guess, you, but then I'd have to put on pants. So you spent 20 extra dollars on Seamless to get the pizza? Yeah, so it wound up being like 20 or so on, on there. And so all told, it was like 30. And it showed and somebody up. somebody else got a nice pizza. Uh, yeah, they did, I hope. Uh, well, no, I had three pieces of this pizza. Yeah. And I, I feel for, after decades of ingesting garbage food, I've got this iron stomach for it. Um, but after three, I, I had the experience that a lot of people get when they talk about like, oh, if I eat Taco Bell, I just feel gross. Mm. Like I felt bad and yeah. gross in my body. It took three pieces of this to get you there. I know. Hey. And then I took the rest down and I just threw it in the <laughs> trash. I think a mere human would have taken a bite and be like, oh, I, this is radioactive. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you order the seamless order, go to the same We have to little, start the show. No, it's Caesars. a different Little Caesars. Di- did you make sure of that, or that just happened? Uh, it it was a different one, yes. We have to start the show. Abby, the pizza a, show? A, a Sicilian pizza no, it doesn't start as a circle. It's Those a square, square it's a ones. rectangle. Yeah, yeah but it's, it doesn't have same. the top. What's that? I'm not saying it's got, I'm saying it, you got, you got the Any bread shape. stuff, you got okay. the sauce, you got the toppings, and then you cut it into pieces. Sometimes you have the personal one, it's smaller, even then you sometimes cut it, but you don't have the topper. Okay, now open face roast beef sandwich, is that a pizza? No, it's, it's, that's, it's, it's, it's on it's, bread. It's, it's, it's on bread. It's sauce and bread. But you don't bake the whole thing together, you break the be- bread beforehand, right, whereas t- the dough is not baked when you make the pizza. Okay, but his his pretzel thing. You think they're you think they're baking the pretzel dough, or you think that? I mean, who knows? That thing sounds happening. gross. Oh, they must, yeah. they I don't must even be want to baking the pretzel it. first and then putting the cheese. I don't think a pretzel uh, would bake normally. Yeah, is the whole thing not? Uh, I don't even know what baking and dough. A tuna melt. Oh, a tuna oh, melt. No. A tuna but you don't melt. make <laughs> the bread. It's not like you put tuna on. So it has raw to, you're saying dough. That you're saying you have to have raw dough. And then it integrates into the pizza. Sure, yeah. Okay, I'll buy that. I'll yeah, buy I think that. I feel like that's not inaccurate. No, I'll buy that. Yeah. I'll How do they? That. Okay. As long as we're ruling out Dan's horrible nightmare pizza. Yeah, no, that thing seems gross. Okay. It wasn't good, but now you got me all wondering about how like the dough. I don't really know how dough and all that works, but like the pretzel. The, the pretzel is the underside pretzel, or do they make it normal and then they attach pretzel to the circle outside? Like how does that? How do they do that? Because I'm pretty sure they're not putting nacho cheese in the oven. Oh. <laughs> do you put tomato sauce in the? Yes. Wait, yes. wait why would you put nacho cheese in the oven? Maybe they didn't bake it. Nacho maybe they just made a pretzel. Nacho cheese in the oven would discus. just become like a hard. But what do you mean bake? Like I don't know what. Bake would its form change? Up. Would a chemical? I think it would. Yeah. I think it would get hardened up. I think it would become like browned on top and like get all like funny. Or like its skin. You know how when you make like an open faced grilled cheese, not a pizza, I don't know, and you put it in the broiler. It's really good. Yeah, it is Just, really good. I tried to and make grilled it cheese like, several times. Uh, like kind of a skin on the cheese yeah. and like a crust on the cheese. It's good. You no. should yeah. try it. A nacho cheese is not supposed. Cheese isn't supposed to be liquid at room yeah. temperature. <laughs> liquid or what? And this. Uh, look, I'm not the one with the T bar. Is that what you call it? Okay. <laughs> look, I'm here for this pizza talk, but we'll yeah. start the show. All right. See you I later. Think a T bar is a thing.